there, my name is Dr. Heidi Fell, and in this video I will show you how to produce a list of patients that might no longer be your patients. So we start with our practice search module open, and if you don't recall, you can open it from your home screen up at the top. Um, I am in here as a staff member, so search all patients is selected for me, and I'm going to choose the physician that I want to use. As a reminder, if you're a doc, it will open up uh, and you don't, won't have search all patients and you'll be able to search your practice by default. So in this case I want to use this patient's or this uh, nurse practitioner's panel. When you're running a search it's a good idea to run the search after each parameter that you add to make sure that it's making sense. So I'm just going to do that by checking here and I can see down at the bottom that there's four patients here and I know that's the right number for that patient's pan physician's panel. So we're going to continue on and add the next part of our search. So the next part of our search is we likely want to know who haven't we seen within the last, say, three years, for example. This period of time is totally arbitrary and up to you, but many physicians find three years to be a convenient number to use here. So in this case, you, you saw me choose three and then select years. And then I tick on the exclude matches box, which means not. So basically, I want to see all of my patients who aren't deceased and are still active in the practice of Victoria Stook, who have not been seen in the last three years. So at this point, I'll run this search. And you can see, you can count up here that there's two, or you can see at the bottom that there's two patients matching that. So that makes some sense. If I want to further refine this, I can go on and say, well, I only want to see patient, a list of patients that haven't been seen in the last three years and don't have an upcoming appointment. So in that case, I could add next visit to it, and you can see it joins down at the bottom here, and filter by next visit where the next visit will be in the next three months. And again, you can put this parameter to whatever you like, but it would depend on how far ahead you have your schedule open. So I also want to exclude those patients because I don't want to see the patients on the list that have a, uh, an appointment booked with me already. In this case, I suspect it's the same two patients, but that's good. We know that none of them are going to re-engage with us within the next three months or they haven't planned to already. So now that we've got our list printed and we're, sorry, showing on the screen, and we're happy that it's fairly accurate, we can go through our list and decide if we wish to inactivate any of these patients. So to do this, we can either tick on the boxes of the patients that we want to make inactive, or we can go to the selection menu and say select all if we want to make all of them inactive. And how you manage this is entirely up to you. Some of the patients on the list you'll probably find are uh, children of a family that you know you're still taking care of, but they've just been well, or you know other circumstances, spouses or physician patients, or people that you know are still on your panel and you don't want to inactivate. Those ones you can just uncheck. Okay. Once you have your checks in the way that you would like them, you can then bulk change the status of all of these patients by going into the selection box and choosing either update patient status or deactivate selected. Okay, deactivate selective makes them inactive in one step. Update patient status allows you to put in a note, for example, if you want to, or start an end date, or change to another status if you have a different status, such as deceased, um, or uh, if you have created a status that says not seen in three years, for example. If you had a different status you wanted to apply, you would use change patient status. Okay, in this case, I want to inactivate them. I can put in a reason, uh, I can say not seen in last three years. I put in today's date as a start date. I can put in a note uh, to my staff that may be added back to practice. I can't type today, but maybe added back to practice if call in. And I would click on OK. So I can see I had one patient checked. 
and one patient has successfully up been updated with the new status. If you want to double check on that, and at any point if you want to check your um, searches to see if they're making sense, you can just double click on the patient's name. So we see test happy here. We can look in their demographics by clicking on F9. And I can see if I go to the patient status tab here that this patient is now inactive as of the 20th of September because they've been not been seen in the last three years. And we can see our note may be added back to practice if call in. So that's how you can make a bulk change to the status of your patients. And it helps clean up your panel so you can get rid of in one fell swoop uh, all of the patients that are likely no longer on your panel. Now keep in mind that inactivating them doesn't do anything to their chart data. Their chart data is still in the background. You can still find them if you need to. And nothing has changed with their chart data if they call back in. You can just go to this advanced search button. I can't show it for confidentiality reasons, but on the lower right hand side, it says show inactive. So any of your search panes will have a show inactive button. Click that button and then you will be able to find the patient no problem. You can change their status back to active and you'll then have all the information back at your fingertips. Okay, talk to you next time.